Hello and welcome again to AA Home Garden. Today I'll be looking at what the plant in April. April is a good month. I'm outside. You can see the sky. You can see the bloom. April is a fantastic month. This is a month where whatever you're planning to plant in your summer garden, you need to start sowing those or you can plant them directly. But remember, there are certain part of the UK where the frosts haven't finished yet. In my era, the last frost date was between the 10th of March to the 20th of March. But saying that, they are predicting some cold weather this weekend. So we still have to approach with a bit of caution. So if we're planting directly outside, we probably need a little fleece or something to cover it in the beginning. In this video is going to take a different handle from normally what to plant. I'm going to go around. I was planting some things, show you what I'm planting and go through and speak through as I go along. So it's a good month. So let the gardening commence. This is my African kale, otherwise known as Covo, C-O-V-O. -O. So I just break off some from my older plant. Then I'm going to dig a hole here and put it in and then I should be having some kale very soon. So you can go, here are different types of kale. I have loads of different types of kale already. So this is my nice kovo or African kale that I'm planting out. So April is a good month to plant a lot of things. Today is the last of March, so today is the 31st of March. So I've just come to get some kale cutting for someone. So while I come to get some for someone, I'm just planting some fresh ones myself. Okay, so you just put it in the hole like that, and you plant some kale. There you go. So these will root in no time. So all I do now after I plant these, I'm just going to water them in. These parts are kale. You can harvest all year round. I was eating these in the heart of winter. When there's snow on the ground, it doesn't matter. You can harvest these beautiful kale. Unlike our kale where they stop growing or the leaves just go dormant, nothing happening. These kale is different. So these are a beautiful, beautiful kale that you can harvest all year round. And all you do you just take cuttings to get new plants. You don't go these from seed, you go these from cutting. Another thing to plant in April are some carrots. Uh, my carrots are just popping through. You probably can see some carrots. So you can see my carrots just coming through there. So you plant your carrots every every two weeks. You plant some carrots and then you have carrot all through the season. So those are my latest carrots we planted just over two weeks ago. And then those are some carrots that was planted from autumn. So you plant carrots at different stages. So carrots is one of those things that you can see a little carrot peeping through there. Just over there. So plant your carrots every two weeks and you get carrot throughout the season. Thing to plant another thing to plant in April are your beans. So these are my broad beans. So you can plant a broad bean directly outside now. But these were planted from autumn because I was trying to avoid the black flies. But April is a very good month to start planting your broad bean. So you can start them indoor if you want in your in your polytunnel and then transplant them or you can plant them directly outside. So these are your broad beans that can be planted directly outside. Next you can plant some sweet peas. So that's a sweet peas that was planted just over two weeks, just popping up. So these are sweet peas. So you can go out and plant your sweet peas as well. April is a good month to plant your spinach. This is a giant winter spinach that was planted from autumn. So I'm planting new set of spinach as well. So 
April is a good month to get your spinach in. So you can direct sow these if you have a sowing tree and things outside. So you can sow your spinach as well. Here I am a week and a half ago planting my main potato crop. So I just dig a little trench and I'm going through placing my potato seeds one by one. And then I cover it over and then stuck it up with some straw because it's still a bit cool in the evening. So the straw would act as an insulation for the potatoes. So if you haven't have your main potatoes in as yet, April is the month to get your potatoes in. So go out and source your potato seeds. I have lots of different potatoes planting. I have different um, King Edwards, Mary's Pipers. They're all mixed up. I just had them in the same bag. So get your potatoes in. You can plant your any type of spinach. This is my giant mustard greens. You can plant these. All these do well in cooler season. So if you plant them early, you will get a crop before the heat of the winter. Before the um, heat of summer, I should say. Because they bolt easily. You can plant your chards as well. So these are some chards. I have chards in different stages. So these I tend to plant every two, two and a half weeks. So they last me through the season. You need to plant your lettuce mix as well. So your lettuce mix. And remember you need to plant your herbs. So your basils, your parsley, your chives, your dill. This is a season and because we're in April, you can direct sow these. You don't have to start them indoor. Over there I have some French breakfast um, radishes. So April is a good month to start your radishes as well. Any rad radishes you want to try, you can plant them in April as well. Also, your beetroot. Beetroot, you can direct sow these now in april so you can direct sow your beetroot beetroot is one of those things april is a good month there's almost everything that you want in your summer garden you can start thinking about it and start planting them so these um french breakfasts were planted in winter i need to start dig some of those out i'm sure there's some beauties under there if you haven't got your brassicas in you need to get your brassicas in this is my sprouts sprout that I direct so and they're coming up. So get your brassicas in, get your cabbages, get your broccoli, your cauliflower, sprouts sprout, all those things. You should have your pepper started. There's a pepper that's a transplant yesterday. So that's my pepper coming up. So get your peppers in, but there's a caution. Because we are in April, and in my zone, my last frost date was um, the 10th to the 20th of March. But they are still predicting a cold spell this weekend. So please check your weather. If it's not totally warm, then start sowing them under cover. Or if the threat of frost is gone for you, then you can literally just start sowing everything outside. So april is a very very good month for the garden this is the month that most of the things are kick-started and you can start planting your things this is your cucumbers remember to get your cucumbers started this one was just transplanted yesterday so get your cucumbers in these should have been started from february they're about because they need a long growing season so these are some of the things you can plant in april you should have started your pepper seedings, so you should have your peppers um, indoor growing on nicely. So please start your peppers if you haven't. The peppers do need time. So these are some of the latest ones I've sown. And you can see I have different stages going on there. So you should have your tomatoes as well. Now we're in April, the tomatoes, the, the days are long. So you shouldn't have any leggy, nets, leggy tomatoes or anything like that. So plant your tomato. This one is a, whoops, a beef tomato. And then the one that I've discovered recently is my Keller's. My Keller's breakfast, just like Keller's tomato. The seeds, most of the seeds weren't good. The germination rate is very poor. 
so i have to look for another supplier soon then i have tomatoes of various stages of tomatoes going on then your squash so all your pumpkins so your butternut squash your pumpkin your guards um what do you call that one so your pumpkins your butternut squash all those things you need to get those started please because april is when the weather is warm enough for the majority of us i know some people have frost into may but even then you need to get your things started then you have my amaranth some people call it kalalu your amaranth over there is these do take time i can see the true leaves coming on now so we need to get these sown unless you're going to get cuttings from someone you should start the seeds and they need to be started and um, where you can have some eat somewhere because they need and um, they are tropical so they need some eat to germinate so that's my amaretts over there so there's so much things april is a good month april is a month where you can just get so excited because i know you're almost gonna be in mid spring then summer then this is my natural sponge so my loafer so if you're planning to um, plant anything unique like these, because these are like subtropical type of plants, you need to get these started. These were started um, last month. So as soon as outside warms up some more, these were going outside. So remember your sweet potatoes. I have sweet potatoes started in so many ways. This particular one is just in a bag with some compass. So remember, you have to start your sweet potato slips and give them time because they do take time to um, come through. So start your sweet potato slips so we can get some sweet potatoes in the garden this year. These are some of my taro that I'm growing from cuttings. So my taros are at different stages growing. So I have my taro, I have my sweet potatoes, I have so, and I have my what do you call it chayati my chocha it's just coming up as well april is a good month so all these things so these were started from last month so this month make sure you get all your tomatoes started you should have some eggplants and crochet started already you just need to do like every two weeks to plant some fresh ones so you should have those started as ready April is the month where you go out in the garden, you start look at your space, you should already align your garden how you want it and know what to plant in. You're, you're going to plant, so you go out and you start making your raised beds and you do all those things and start getting your seeds in now. So these are the rest of the potato slips. So these were broken off the potatoes. Rooting in water. So guys, please get your potatoes out, sweet potatoes. Get them going so you can get nice, lovely potato slips. Those are my leeks growing on. A couple more weeks, then I can transplant those outside. So guys, get all your tomatoes, get all your cucumbers, get all your crochets, all your eggplants, all your herbs, your sweet corn. Whatever you're planning to put in your summer garden, you need to get those started. But some of those still need caution. Remember to plant your crochets as well. So your crochets and your eggplant, these are some that are planted just over two weeks. Some doing a two weeks. Plant over two weeks, I plant some more. So you can see the size of this one versus the size of that one. So I'm trying to plant every two weeks. That's a okra as well going on there. Then remember your sweet corns as well. So April is an excellent month to start sowing everything that you're planning to have in your summer garden. But some of these still have to be sown under cover before they're transplanted outside when outside is a bit warmer. Because things like your crochets and your eggplant and your cucumbers and your peppers they like when it's warm and the nighttime temperature is still a little bit low 
So you have to have caution when you're planting these out. Okay, so this is what I'm sowing and planting. So some is being sown and some is being planted directly outside. So things like your broad bean and your sweet peas and your dwarf beans and your onions and all those things and all your herbs can be planted directly outside now in April. But some of these warmer weather crop, you just have to have a little bit more caution. Okay, so what are you planting in April or what have you sown so far? Do let me know below. So enjoy the gardening season. The sun is out. The clock have gone forward. We have a lot of daytime hours. I'm so, so, so excited. So thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing. Until next time, keep gardening. Take care. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell.